Hi there, and welcome to Responsive Web Development and Design. This course is a course that's going to teach you all about how to create responsive websites and the ins and outs that you'll need to know so that you can get up and running in this awesome method of making websites that are really all about the end user and all about delivering the content in the most effective way to the end user. As we proceed through this course, we're going to be looking at what exactly responsive website is, an overview of the key components that you're going to need to use to create responsive websites, and we're going to be actually implementing techniques in a hands-on exercise together, so we'll actually be creating a responsive website together. So here's a look at the site that we're going to be creating. We're going to be creating a website for an orchid farm and this website is going to be set up in a responsive manner. So right now you see the website and I can actually resize my screen and the website does kind of move and at certain points the website changes. So here's one of the first key points um, from the first layout which is kind of our widescreen layout. When the website gets a little bit more narrow you can see that the content kind of reflows so instead of going from a three column layout like we have initially we're going to be changing it to a two column layout also this margin on the left which kind of showcases this beautiful picture of an orchid over here shrinks substantially we don't need to show as much of that as the the browser window gets smaller and then as the browser window continues to get smaller you can see that the content reflows to accommodate the new size of the window and then at a certain point where the window gets smaller still more things happen the layout changes from more of a two column look to two columns but in a little bit different manner here we have the pictures on the left and then the content that describe each of these particular things to the right as opposed to this layout where the pictures on the top and then the description flows underneath it also the header image changes so instead of having this image that is large kind of going in the background we have a different picture of an orchid switching out completely and then as we continue to get smaller you can see that the content just kind of reflows in the container and at a certain point the layout is going to change again so instead of these two items being side by side when the web page gets smaller then they start to stack on top of each other you'll also notice that at a specific point in time the navigation changes so initially we have the navigation up at the top of the page but when this site starts to reflow into a smaller content our navigation actually moves down to the bottom of the page and this is uh, more ideally suited for mobile um, you know browsers where they can access the navigation down at the bottom of the screen. So we'll talk about all those things as we go on, but this just gives you a quick peek at what we're going to be creating in this course.